Well, good morning, friends. It is Tuesday, July 12th. And what do we have here? You know what this means. This has been an eBay purchase. Well, what are we doing today? We have a surprise birthday gift for our dear Cole. Cole has a birthday on Friday. He will be turning 12. A long way to go before he starts driving. And little history behind what's in the package. Um, I happen to have uh, a very rare factory original Triumph logoed radio in my TR6, and I've been searching for quite some time to find one, and I just happened to stumble across one a week or so ago, and I was able to be the high bidder on it, and here we have it in here. And I'm going to just give everybody a little bit of a sneak peek here of what we've got. But we have an original Triumph radio with the Triumph logo. It's the uh, FM AM. It's a little crispy right now. Needs to be cleaned up, but this is the surprise gift for Cole for his birthday. He has no idea. And I'm going to unwrap this from the packaging and I'm going to test it, see if it works and start cleaning it. All right, so now that the center console has been unpacked, uh, a little dirty, uh, but all in all, it's uh, other than just being dirty, uh, feet are a little crispy. It's actually in pretty good shape. Um, we actually have one uh, for Cole's car, um, but um, not sure if this one's in better shape or not, but we are going to clean it up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the radio uh, out of here. Mine does not have this very unique uh, plate, uh, which kind of covers up the hole. Uh, sometimes uh, manufacturers would do that if they had extra holes. So um, I'll kind of pull the veil back a little bit on that in a few minutes. But um, other than just being dirty, uh, first glance is uh, it's actually in pretty good shape. I don't see a whole lot of peeling uh, usually they peel really badly down here. Uh, one thing that I did notice is that the uh, letters are in really good shape. Uh, you can define the FM and the AM, and uh, again, you can see the Triumph logo. Uh, pretty crispy, but I'll take it apart here after I test it. Okay, so... We've got the radio out, and as you can see here, it's pretty dirty and crispy. Uh, we'll probably take apart uh, the faceplate, try to very delicately clean that up. And as you can see here, the, the knobs are in uh, pretty crusty shape, but I think with a little light steel, well, I can get those cleaned up. Uh, this faceplate here, usually they're double-sided. This one is not, uh, and it's a little rough, not sure. Uh, if I'm going to reuse that, but I might have to, as you can see here, this has been on here since 1973. That's the date stamp. And you can see that it has actually left an indentation here. So more than likely I will need to uh, reuse that if I use this particular one. So um, next step will be to test it to see if I can get uh, the radio to work. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got my Frankenstein uh, <laughs> set up here for my uh, radio test. I've got my power here. Uh, I've got ground here, uh, speaker wires here, and uh, let's see what happens if she turns on. Ooh, we have lights. I also have an antenna here. And yes, not only do we have uh, sound, but we have lights. So, uh, works. Very good. 
Now, um, something to keep in mind, um, we will probably do a similar setup um, that we did in my 73 TR6, where we just have the power going. Uh, we will make the radio work with the single speaker that's up in the dash, but we will have a aftermarket uh, Bluetooth radio that we will use for everyday use. But just to keep it looking original, we will uh, we'll, uh, keep this in the center console. But uh, very excited, it does work. And it's time to start cleaning it up. Okay, so I've taken a few pieces apart. We have the radio itself here. Uh, you have the tuner here, along with all of the uh, FM and AM buttons. So I'm gonna clean those up momentarily. Here, uh, we have the faceplate, which actually uh, gives us the uh, numbers for the AM and FM. And of course, we have this beautiful Triumph logo. This thing is in kind of rough shape, but I'm gonna see if I can clean it up. I have a few pieces here. I actually took this and cleaned it up really nicely. And as you can see, it's got a nice shine to it there. Um, and these are pretty crispy, so I'm going to need to do some work to them to clean them up. This faceplate here, um, I'm not happy with. It looks really rough. So I think what I'm going to do is I have another faceplate that's black. I think the black might look better than the silver. Uh, I've actually not seen a silver faceplate uh, before, but that's not to say that it wasn't out there. So um, I'm gonna try to work on this, clean some of this stuff up here. As you can see, it's pretty disgusting. There's hardly any shine to it, some rust in there. So I'm hoping my steel wool uh, will do the trick. All right, so I was able to get the uh, steel wool out, a toothbrush, some glass cleaner, and some Dawn. And uh, I'll just let the uh, results here speak for themselves. Definitely better than it was. These knobs came out uh, much better uh, than I expected. Nice and shiny. I flip them over here as you can see. And these came out really nicely here. And basically they go like this. Like this. And again like this over here. Actually it's the wrong way. Flip it over. There we go. And so that looks really nice. Um, Triumph logo, let's have a see here, it is still intact, looks nice. Uh, there is some pitting here, but I mean, what's to be expected from a car that is, you know, 50 years old, 1973 radio, so almost 50 years old uh, next year. Um, just a little work here, uh, scrubbed up the AM and FM uh, buttons. Um, a little bit off on the FM. The AM ones look really good. Uh, I'm meant to have some other buttons that I could use to replace. And then as I mentioned before, I'm gonna replace this fascia plate probably with something in black. But I'm gonna put it back together and see how it looks. And well, just like that, we have a reconstructed 1973 Triumph TR6 factory original radio with the Hard to find Tramp logo, see it there. And um, we are looking a lot better. I'm not completely sold on the faceplate. Uh, it's a little rough, so I'm going to try switching it out with a black faceplate with chrome and see if that looks better. But, you know, it really cleaned up nicely, I have to say. I'm just going to get from the top here. See the knobs, like they clean up really nicely. Um, not real happy here with this FM button. Looks like some of the reds come off in here, but if I might be able to switch that out with something, I will. The green uh, AM buttons look fantastic, uh, but all in all, it looks really nice. I mean, damn, the thing's almost 50 years old and it cleaned up really nicely, so. Um, very happy with it. Let's see what it looks like with the back face plate. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the factory original Triumph radio. And here is, oddly enough, the same radio. Yes, that's right. This is an AudioVox radio. Uh, both radios are actually AudioVox. 
Uh, this one has three FM buttons and two AM. This one here has two AM, I'm sorry, two FM and three AM. But you will notice that the resemblance is uncanny. Very, very similar. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rob the plate off of this one and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I learned something today. As you can see, these face plates are exactly the same. And this is a cover. And basically the cover goes over the edge here, pops in, but check this out. On the other side, you get a uh, wood grain finish. So kind of interesting. So these are essentially uh, the same thing. So I'm going to take the best of the two, pop that in, and then pop that onto the radio, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so the verdict's in. I think the black plate looks much better, very finished, much cleaner lines, and uh, just gorgeous. So we now have a running and clean uh, audio box radio designed for a Triumph TR6 with the Triumph logo. And it's cleaned up and it's looking really nice. I'll do a little bit more polishing and in my next video, I will put it together with a center console. Uh, that's next on my list to clean up. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, stuff to put on there to kind of shine it up a little bit. So sure came out nice and um, really happy. I think Cole's gonna be super excited. Well, here we are on day two of the restoration project on this Triumph radio. Last night I was able to get the radio looking Nice and snazzy. Uh, changed the face plate from a silver to a black. I think it looks a lot better. And today I'm going to tackle this. I was able to clean it up with some uh, a diluted Dawn uh, to try to get some of the dirt and grime and grease off of it. And um, today I'm gonna see if I can shine this up and maybe put all this back together. So here we go. So here we are, the final final. I was able to get the center console cleaned up. It looks fantastic. And as you can see, the radio looks amazing. Uh, I went ahead and put the kidneys on, uh, along with the, radio, the speakers that will be going on with it. So you can see it uh, is now complete. It's kind of cool because it stands on its own. Never thought that would happen, but uh, it stands up by itself. Uh, it's amazing. It's actually just the perfect amount of balance to do that. Uh, so you can see back here where the uh, radio is at and uh, where the speakers will be. Probably will be a little bit wider than that. And then I'll have a buffer here uh, in between the speaker and that so we don't have any problems with uh, vibration. I have those in the uh, closet. Uh, but it uh, came out really nicely. Uh, very, very excited about this for Cole. Uh, it's going to be a really cool... Uh, surprise birthday gift for him and uh, we really appreciate everybody watching. I will post this video on his birthday.